Now, speaking of undo history, uh, if you go in here and you go to File, Save As, it's going to save a Z project. It's going to have all your... If you go in here to Tool, Save As, it's going to save the selected tool with all of its subtools and anything in here like polypane information, any textures you have loaded, or a texture you have loaded underneath here if it's visible, uh, any UVs you have, basically anything associated with your tool, it'll save. But it's not going to save any document settings or any light settings or material settings. If you go up here to File, Save As, it's going to save a Z project, and that's going to save any, uh, not just the tool selected tool in its subtools, but like if you have a bunch of tools sitting out here with a bunch of subtools, it's going to save all of that. And that's going to save a Z project. And you're going to see File, Save As, Undo History is checked on. So when you go and you save a Z project, it's going to save your undo history. Now, of course, this isn't free. It's saving vertex positions for every single thing you've done for this entire project. So if, again, if you have subtools with tens of millions of polygons, uh, that's going to add up fast. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to increase your file size considerably. And also, when you're using History Recall Brush, it's, it might be a little bit difficult to go through here and remember, like, hey, I, you know, I was sculpting a bunch of different variants, and like, here's an alien variant, and here's a ape variant, and here's a sci-fi robot variant. For me, it's easier just to go through, and then once I have a good variant, I'll just save it off, and then I can always History Recall from that subtool that I can see uh, visibly in my eyeballs, and then project those to something else. Or like we showed you, just use a Z project brush with two subtools sitting next to each other to grab or project pieces from it. But I'll leave that up to you. Uh, while you're working also, if you go in here to edit, you're going to see we have delete older undo history and also delete undo history. So if you go back through your undo history here and you're like, you know what, I want everything from this point forward to be saved, but this older stuff I don't really care about. Just go to delete older and then now you have just these and then you also just go to delete undo history, just make sure you're at the point you want to be. Then it says delete it all and now your undo history is nice and cleaned out. And under preferences, undo history, this is where you show or hide your undo selector. And it has Enable Saving turned on, so when you go to File, Save, uh, also Undo History is turned on. Under here it has um, Skip, this is where you would do Skip Loading. So if you want to load somebody's Z project but you don't care about their Undo History, just say Skip Loading and it'll go ahead and load in there uh, without all of it. But uh, think about all the different interesting ways you can use uh, History Recall Brush and Project, don't forget about Subtool, Project History uh, to not only come up with cool new ideas and things to sculpt and maybe some happy accidents, but also to kind of speed up your workflow, like when you were Ziri meshing and projecting detail back through here and not having to go through and duplicate subtools off and project uh, visible and stuff like that.